This bike here is uh, my, my first bike. Uh, it's a 47 knucklehead, uh, and we call it uh, the Untouchable. <laughs> I've had it now, I think, uh, probably, you know, 55, 56 years. Choppers pretty much was the, was the style that was good, a rigid frame, uh, Springer front ends, uh, tall bars, upsweep pipes, and uh, peanut gas tanks, and, and uh, mostly all rigids. I always liked uh, the drag bikes when I'd go to the races or whatever. I liked the looks of them, so uh, I started uh, styling some of the bikes after a long, low uh, race bike and uh, come up with something that uh, people like looking at. And uh, actually, we made them that way for uh, quite a few years. In those days, uh, bikes didn't look like that. And I'd done a lot of things that nobody else was doing in those days. That's a, uh, a chrome ollie frame. And it was made out of a 5 8 tubing. So it was very small tubing. Uh, and I uh, used it, the knucklehead motor, 47 knucklehead, but I had some special barrels that uh, Stan Deshawn made, which made, the, made it a 100-inch knucklehead, which was very rare. And uh, the transmission, the knucklehead transmissions were always clunky and everything, so uh, I had uh, cut a Sportster motor in half, and I used the Sportster transmission because it shifted so much smoother and uh, put a blower on it with the carburetors and uh, I kept adding every year. I would add more stuff to it. That's that's why it uh, looks like it did for those days. Th this bike was like the first custom that I ever did because I only had one bike. And in those days, uh, I was uh, painting motorcycles in the garage. Uh, I didn't have a shop or anything. In fact, I worked a day job and then I painted at night and weekends and uh, this bike here uh, it, in those days it didn't didn't look like it does now because uh, I would uh, recustomize it you know every other year or something like that when you uh, wanted to put it in a, a bike show or whatever it had to couldn't put the same bike in so you had to make serious changes or they or to get it to get it put in the show so that's why I was changing it around all the time. I really, really enjoyed, uh, you know, going to the bike shows and meet a lot of people. It was, it was good times. My wife, uh, what she thought about the motorcycles, she was never too excited about them. Uh, but uh, she didn't want me to have one, of course. But uh, I ended up uh, buying one she didn't know about and uh, brought it home and then started, started working on it and painting and then I met more people with bikes, started painting them, and actually got, uh, got real busy where I quit my day job. For a, a long time there, I was uh, driving a truck and delivering furniture. And uh, that was a hard job. And the bad part about it, you had to work Saturdays. So I went to work as a, uh, a carpenter installing uh, aluminum windows and glass sliding doors. And you only had to work four and a half days as a carpenter knows, and you're off off the weekend, so it gave me more time to uh, to do my home projects. Painted uh, in my garage, and then at night I had a little store up on East 14th, and I would go in there from six to ten, and I'd paint all day, and then I'd go in there to take the paint jobs, and uh, started started making a few parts, a fiberglass fender and handlebars, and some things like that. I started started them when I when I did uh, quit my job and just worked painting and then running the store at night. And so I'd get ideas to make, well, like I say, Ramhorn handlebars was one of my first products and then made several different uh, styles of fiberglass roof fenders. And just from there on, we're just, just making uh, little knickknacks.